reality is virtual, it's computed. And the fundamental theory of physics says reality is because it is. You know, it starts with the Big Bang, and the Big Bang has no cause. It's a, a causal thing. You know, there is no cause for the Big Bang. Physics just starts with a Big Bang without a cause. It happens, you have all this energy, it's very tightly packed, then it expands, then it cools, and you get planets, coalesce, and suns, and so on. But there is no cause for a Big Bang. So, you know, that's a mystical assumption, something without a cause. So physics is really fundamental. Uh, traditional physics is really based upon a mystical assumption that something happens out of nothing. It's just a big bang. So our universe has kind of popped out of nothing. Well, Brian took these two ideas, the traditional physics that we just exist because we do and everything's here because it is, and the one that this is a computed virtual reality. He had this big matrix, and down one side was all the things we knew, all the facts. What did, what did we know by experiment? Okay, that's the data. Those are the data points. And then he took the virtual reality idea and said, how does that fit the data? How does that explain the data? And then he took the traditional physics, how does that fit the data? So he had this big matrix, and when he was done, the last paragraph in his paper said, physicists, wake up. This concept of a virtual reality fits the data a whole lot better than a traditional concept. It explains more the fewer problems. So that's where we are uh, present day. Now, let's uh, leave physics for a bit and talk about uh, metaphysics and reality and, and see how all this ties together. Okay, reality is information. Now, that may be a little hard for you to swallow, but reality is information. Now, look at it this way. What is your reality? What's your reality right now? Well, it comes through your senses, right? It's just what you see, hear, feel, smell. That's your reality. If you didn't have any senses, what would your reality be? Nothing. You'd be a point of consciousness floating in a black void. That's all. Okay. So, what is this, this uh, reality? It's just data. That's all. Photons hit your eyes, get focused by the lens, go to the retina, and what happens at the retina? They turn into electrical pulses, discrete electrical pulses, not continuous electrical, discrete pulses. Those pulses go into your nervous system, and, and what do they turn into? They hit synapses and, and neurons fire off in different directions. You get neurons and patterns of neurons. What are neurons? Discrete pieces of information. So what is your reality? It's data. It's little electrical blips. It's neurons and patterns of neurons. It's digital data. And when I say digital, I mean discrete. Digital is another word for it. discrete. It comes in packets, little separate units, neurons, little pulses. So that's what your reality is nothing but data. Now, if, I, if all of your senses were somehow terminated and you were in that, that black void of point consciousness, and then I could stimulate your central nervous system just like it's being stimulated now. I could reproduce all those little electrical signals just at the right places on your, in your central nervous system. What would you experience? You'd experience just what you're experiencing now. And there'd be no way for you to tell the difference. No experiment that you could do that would differentiate one from the other. So now it's just a small step from there to say, well, what is our reality? It's just a data stream. It's a data stream coming down to consciousness, and we interpret that data as this reality. Because in fact, that's what's happening here. We're getting the photons, we're getting the pressure waves in our ears, it turns into data, and our brain, we think it's our brain, it's not really our brain, it's our consciousness, interprets that data to be this reality. This is just an interpretation of a lot of digital information. That's what this is. That's what all this reality is. Okay, so consciousness is the fundamental reality.